about that. You don't think there's a connection here? Why would they sell those? Why would they sell those? Why? So, you don't think sports metaphors matter? You know nothing. So, Randy Ray has gone and he verified in his press conference everything that I've assumed of everything, but the Fukushima water dumping. This is the house that the nuclear cartel built, 1977. G and Utah Construction merged in 1975. Biggest corporate merger in U.S. history. That's who built this house, the Purple Palace, which is the greatest recruiting tool in the world. You know, you got to get out the big can for this. Go with your left, Jerry. So the sports metaphors matter. And let me explain, especially basketball. Kobe Bryant. One of the legendary, Joe Bass is the legendary trainer here. And so, he's get the big can out for this. He says, one of the, his apprentices ended up being a tr personal trainer for Kobe Bryant. Many years later, I've been here the whole time. He comes to me and he says, Kevin, Kobe's got a mind like you, quantum physics type mind, the elasticity of time. I said, what are you talking about? I knew Italy, Italy, you know, his mother. He grew up there, and he was a genius. I knew that. He says, he says, isn't it amazing how sports, especially basketball, will tell you the tale of life before it even happens? Really, he said that? Yeah. I went, whoa. I knew he was genius in his press conference. He says, I'm not going to play college basketball. What the hell? I have the right to be gainfully employed, which the NBA said was against the law. And back to Lillard, you know, the water dumping. Randy Ray confirmed everything I knew. I've been here the whole time. In his press conference, he said he was a blizzard. He lived in this bubble. And I was friends with Randy the whole time, but I was never a fan of his coaching style. What he did this pro, you know, players like him. He put a lot of players there, I guess. He said right in his own press conference when he was asked about Lillard right at the end. And by the way, this is important. Not one time in that long 20 minute press conference, standard examiner wasn't even there. Tribune, Deseret News, well, why do they even have a speaking in part? They, all we heard was Jimmer, Jimmer, Jimmer when Lillard played. He said, I didn't even know anything. When we're all a buzz about Lillard from the day he signed, everybody knew he was going to be a most likely NBA player when he was in high school. You know, we all knew his freshman. We all knew. You know, he says, well, I had no clue. I was just, uh, I was obliterated until one of the players says, uh, that's, and he was never ready. He never won a big game. He was, I was never a fan of his coaching stuff. Never. You know, when he played in three, I always go back to that first game with David Patton when he got into the tournament. That was a Cravens recruit. I was at that game. I flew on the team plane where there. They got obliterated. They were blown off the floor, but they were down by 30 in the first half. And I was like, and that was the table set. Me and him got an argument after the Xavier game. You know, he told me to my face after they get, and they gave me another con. I'm like, what the hell? The talent you have? Oh, but no, 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 we're just not good enough. That was always his line because he didn't want to win in the tournaments. He didn't want to win, but he was ready to go drink wine and go on vacation. I knew he was going to retire. I told these people, all, play back the tape, Your Honor. I knew he was going to retire, but sports metaphors matter. This historic day, he already cleared out his office and gone. He'll never be come back here. You know, he was, he was here for the money. He made a lot of money for mediocrity. I mean, he, Stu Morrill, I knew Stu personally. I knew Randy before he got the job here. You know, you go from Ronna Baglin, really all these years, Bill, Jerry Cardi, all that, then some. With that left, Jerry. You know, I'll go. I'll never forget it. I'll always go back. This sports metaphors matter. Damian Lillard had by 22 points in the second half in there. Yes, that Damian Lillard. I was sitting doing the play-by-play -play right there. With the Montana play-by-play -play people. The Montana play-by-play -play people says, we're leaving at halftime. This game's over. We want to beat the storm. What? Okay. 22, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3. They lost. Curse. They're dumping the water after all these years. Sports metaphors matter. Especially basketball. Heat versus Suns in a drought. Suns are gone. Chris Paul is the new. Carl Malone, John Stockton. The Heat, when a Baglin won in 99, I sat with freaking Pop, President Thompson that morning when they lost that heartbreaker to that Florida team that was all that, went to the Final Four the next year. Do you know Haslam was on that team? 
He's going to play in an NBA Finals. Maybe they can win it. All those years later, time goes by, the elasticity of time. They name his assistants, which I was totally against. You know, I've been in all their ears, the muck mucks around here, but it's just a club. Not one time, not one time in that long 20 minute conference did anyone mention the fans. When it was all about the fans, not one time. That's 